What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela Altieri if this is your first time here and welcome to the video. Today I have lots of eyeshadow palettes in front of me. They're heavy. I got lots in front of me because today I'm doing the eyeshadow palette tag. Like get to know all about my eyeshadow palettes. I saw Ellie Blinds post this video. I might have done this video, like the part one of this, when she first did it in 2020 or 2021. Can't remember. Uh, but yeah, this is part two, like my fave from 2021, my newest palette, palette that I just can't get rid of, the first palette I used in 2022, one that surprised me, things like that. So if you're interested in my eyeshadow palettes, some of the stories behind them. And I think I'll do like swatches as well, just showing you some swatches of the eyeshadows as I go along. Then you know the deal, you know the drill, ain't no the vibes. Let's get. And I'm hoping and I'm hoping there's no rogue lipstick. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay, so I've already swatched this palette. Ooh, sneak peek. This is my all-time favorite eyeshadow palette starting off. And of course, it is the Vive Muse, the essential palette. Here, oh, terrible swatches. <laughs> Here are the swatches of the entire palette. I had just enough space. I think this palette is truly essential for my collection. It has really nice, unique, tones of neutrals like very yellow mustardy grungy this palette is so beautiful i speak about this probably too much but it really is a stunning palette but this is definitely my all-time favorite palette i reach for this over and over again if i want a nice neutral glam or grungy look this is what I think of and I have to force myself, not force myself, but really encourage myself to do something else. So these are essentials palette. Okay, next up is a new favorite in my collection and this is the Laura Lee Los Angeles Nudie 2 palette. I've been speaking about this a lot lately as well. Here are the swatches. This palette, I didn't really need another neutrals palette, obviously, but something about it just kept calling me in and seducing me, so I did get it. And let me tell you, Laura Lee has some of my favorite eyeshadow shimmers in my entire collection. They are absolutely, absolutely stunning. I mean, just look at it. That's the shimmer. Shimmer shimmer and then these like glittery duo combs are insane insanely beautiful as a topper or on their own oh my god they are incredibly stunning her mattes are buttery soft pigmented but buildable pigment like they aren't boom boom pow but they are definitely buildable and you could get like full payoff with them um and it's a lot more mauvey than what i'm into usually but it's such a pretty like pinky rosy palette that it really draws me in it matches my nails how stunning and honestly this is my favorite shade this one right here it's so good this oh, do you see that Um, I feel like people are sleeping, sleeping on Laura Lee's brand and they really shouldn't. This is another palette that I find myself wanting to reach for if I want something a little bit more pinky, dainty kind of look, you know, versus very neutral brown. This is what I gravitate towards. I really, really love this palette and she's always doing sales, so... She's not very expensive. She's actually a pretty decently priced uh, brand, in my opinion, especially being an influencer brand. I think she has great pricing and great products. So I highly 
recommend. That's definitely a new favorite and I will continue to be using it a lot in 2022, especially for Valentine's Day coming up. I plan on doing my Valentine's Day look with the Laura Lee palette. Yes, my hand. Laura Lee. Okay, the next palette I keep for memory's sake. This is very sentimental to me. This is the Naked 3 by Urban Decay. Yes, ma'am, it's Urban Decay. She still has the brush and everything. This, oh, I'm here the swatches. <laughs> Ooh. Um, I didn't know how important the Naked 3 palettes really were by the time I got this palette. This was my first, like, makeup gift from my boyfriend uh christmas 2016 like the first year we were together he got me this palette because i was really into rose gold and this was like the rose gold palette at the time um you can see why i don't really reach for it lately those are just not my tones the very very cool purpley undertone moss don't really work well for my complexion. I didn't know that back then, uh, but I know that now, but I just can't bring myself to get rid of it. There are a few other makeup products, like a lot of my Fenty stuff he bought for me from the original releases that I just don't want to get rid of. Uh, some KKW products. Anything he gets me is usually things that I specifically ask for, so I don't see myself needing to declutter them or get rid of them but this is definitely a keepsake and I plan on doing a full face of my oldest makeup so we'll see what I could do with this but yeah this is my first makeup gift from my boyfriend and she stays I wish it was more so the naked original because those are more tones that I would probably wear but I mean this is my only naked palette ever so here it is, my Naked 3, very sentimental to me. Okay, next palette is a palette I think is the most underrated, and I've spoken about this before in like my favorite purchases of, right here, my favorite purchases of 2021. And then I look on this palette, I speak about this often. This is the Candy Skies palette um, from Laura Lee Los Angeles in collaboration with Denise Aaron Weaver. Here are some of the swatches. I mean, I mean, come on, you guys. I don't know how much I need to talk about Miss Laura Lee for people to just really understand. She just hits it out of the park every time. And I think this is a really slept on, pastel, colorful palette. Everyone always talks about the glam light, I feel like, for these kind of colors. But I think this palette is stunning. It is still in stock, I believe. Like, look at those shimmers and the mattes. Are you kidding? How pigmented. The only different formula is this pink. It's a lot drier, but I think that's by the color itself. And it, it, stands. <laughs> it does stain, so beware. But yeah, this is my favorite shade. I think if you don't have anything pastel or this colorful in your collection this should be one you look for again the mattes are pigmented blendable buildable like it's just so good i do have a tutorial using this definitely definitely underrated more people need to be using laura lee like why do i have to keep repeating it next is the palette that is not a favorite that I just cannot let it go. This could also be somewhat sentimental, like for the men or whatever, but I just, it, it cannot leave my collection. I don't think I will ever get rid of this piece. It is the Pure X Raw Beauty Christie palette. Raw Beauty Christie's first ever collaboration and I just could never let this go. I love Chrissy with my entire heart and soul. She's one of the only YouTubers that I can go back and watch her old videos and still laugh at them, enjoy them, 
and I think she's absolutely incredible. She's so genuine and funny, but like a naturally funny. I enjoy her so, so, so much. Christy, be my friend. Thank you so much. Um, here are some of the swatches. So these are from the neutrals and these are from the colorful side. Um, I loved how different her tones were for the neutrals palette. The reason why it wasn't really my favorite was because the last few times I had used it, uh, the colors didn't really show up on my eyes the way they showed up in the pan. Something weird was going on. But swatching it now, I'm like, <laughs> I need to use this again. Um, I like genuinely, genuinely need to use this again and make sure that, um, you know, my thoughts or my feelings are still the same from the last time I used it. But I mean, that shimmer is really, really beautiful. And I love that mauve. Matches my nail color, like, perfectly. And yeah, she had some, like, really cool mustardy undertones uh, in her neutrals that I thought was really nice. And I mean, this colorful side is basically the perfect companion for Laura Lee. Like, getting a red to build and the purple to build, the blue and that teal green blue color would be great to build up some depth uh, from the Laura Lee palette and this white is better than Laura Lee's I have to say but this is a pressed pigment palette it's not an eyeshadow palette it's pressed pigment the red is absolutely insane these are when I say pigmented I mean it I mean it like I mean that with every letter of the word I mean pigmented. They do blend, but by golly, oh, wow, they really pop. Like, if you need popping colors, this is, I mean, you can't get it anymore. <laughs> so I don't really need to explain that to you, but yeah. Next palette is my favorite collaboration. 2021. This is in my favorite purchases of 2021 because this is my favorite collab of the year along with another but this one just got you know up the ante a little bit. <sighs> Colourpop X Powerpuff Girls. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Another great companion palette. Where did the hair come from? Uh, for Laura Lee's Candy Skies because I could build up the green and the blue even the pink orange whatever I despise the pressed glitters especially the the blue being a pressed glitter because I would have just preferred a shimmer and a better like pink shimmer like more like that to match blossom but the green shimmer is stunning mattes are super bright and pigmented um this could also categorize as something that is not my favorite but I will never get rid of it. Ever. I probably never get rid of anything in the collection. I know I say that now, but like I feel very strongly about that. <laughs> because I love Powerpuff Girls so much. I have a video on the entire collection. I'll link as many videos as I can using the palettes I'm speaking about. Um, or if there's any palettes you want me to do a look. With, I could do that as well. And if you wanted to see a full eyeshadow palette collection video, I can work on that as well. <laughs> if that's what you want to do. Um, yeah, it's just so, so stunning. The packaging, the names, um, the color story could have been better. 100%. They could have really hit it out of the park with it being just a completely colorful palette of blue, pink, and green you know like a whole pink row a whole blue and a whole green they could have really done something with that they kind of missed the mark by a little bit but it's still really really pretty and it's far with us so. <sighs> my favorite collab I'll have it forever in my heart and if I ever had like this space or opportunity to I mean look at the color so I've ever had the opportunity to like have it on display a lot of the products that I got in the collection then I I would do that I would it's adorable okay next is a palette that I didn't expect 
to love that I did. The Morphe Jacqueline Hill Volume 2. Okay. Hear me out. I definitely would. Let me open it. For my preferences, you know, you would think I would have gotten the Volume 1, but I already have a lot of neutrals. And this is on sale. Well, they were both on sale for 50% off. So I got this on Ulta thinking, like, let me just test it out. I haven't been a fan of any more of the eyeshadow palettes that I've tried. Um, I have had the Manny. I've had old palettes. I remember one of my first eyeshadow palettes was actually, like, the 35 whatever the heck. I don't know. But I remember getting rid of that, like, quickly because it wasn't my favorite. And I'm usually not a big fan of huge palettes like this because I feel like it's just too repetitive. Um, not enough differentiation in all the shades. But yeah, and I'm, I tried her neutrals palette. The shimmers were not that great. I was not impressed whatsoever. And some of these shimmers still like, which one is it? This one is super hard, fam. Like I have to scrape it to get any of the pigment to come off. Uh, here are some of the swatches. That first one's nice. Some of them are okay. Some of them not so much. But the mattes in here are really stunning. They have pretty special tones uh, for the neutrals up top that are pretty unique for my collection and very interesting in my opinion. And again, another great companion for Miss Laura Lee if you wanted to build up your outer, outer corner or you know, the orange, purple, or pink tones from that palette the brights in here are so pigmented but so easy to blend at the same time i use this in a spin my stash i think it's absolutely incredible it's not the cheapest palette i mean it's huge but um if you could catch this on sale i would highly recommend doing so it's a great colorful palette if you're looking for these colors in your collection i think they are really really good and you could definitely build up a lot of depth and get slightly different undertones for the purple, the pinks, and the orangey reds. I think it's a really good palette. I did not expect to like it as much as I do. Again, the shimmers are so lackluster for me for the Morphe formula, but the mattes are really good. So, Miss Jaclyn Hill Morphe 2. Look at the pigment on those. It's insane. It's insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, insane. All right, just really quickly, um, I didn't have a new or different palette for this category, but in this category, I wanted to mention my 2021 fave, Leap Essentials. Yeah, uh, I got this for Christmas. My boyfriend bought it for me, actually. <laughs> he bought me this palette, a lip liner, the lipstick. Yeah, that was it. And they became Holy Girl favorites of mine. Uh, I think for Christmas 2020, but it took a while to get to me because you know, she's shipping from the UK. Uh, and yeah, became a 2021 favorite ever since then. I have a whole tutorial of this, um, her lipsticks, all that, her blushes even. So yeah, Miss Beef. She came to slay my eyeshadow palette collection. Okay, the next category is a palette that sparks joy. This could also be a palette that goes into the like sentimental, I'm keeping for the memories, not my favorite, but I'm keeping it anyway, and my second favorite collaboration of the year. <laughs> the Wet n Wild SpongeBob collection. I literally have, you guys, I have a whole video on this collection as well. I have the entire PR box. It's staying for the men's, y'all. I do plan on one day, like, having that displayed. Once I have, like, a nice makeup room one day. <laughs> having that on display with all the products. Um, not my favorite, but it does spark joy because, like, the whole collection, the whole thing just makes me so happy. Look at my Spongebob. I literally watch Spongebob almost every day. Every day. And I'm not joking. If I'm home, Spongebob is playing. <laughs> it's just my favorite. It came out, I think, 1997. I was born in 90, 98. 
and I've been watching it ever since. Yes. I love Spongebob, and the names on this are just iconic. <coughs> Not my heart, like, skipping a beat. Oh my god, that scared me. The names on this palette, or in this palette, are just iconic mayonnaise. One Krabby Patty Hold Mayonnaise. Iconic. One Eternity Later Tartar Sauce. Um, Any Bottom, obviously. Gare Bear Pretty Patty. Best Day Ever. Just, it's, you know, oh, here's some of the swatches. I didn't want to waste too much time swatching them because it's really not my favorite formula. And the colors themselves, although the names are great, the colors aren't, they just aren't that good. I mean, they have like pretty imprints in them. Pretty patty. Oh my goodness. Um, They just didn't do it <laughs> with the colors. Sorry. They didn't do it with the glitters. Why are people putting in glitter? Like, we don't need glitters, dog. We don't. Um, They needed to call me to to really give life to this collaboration it's just it's too iconic there are certain shows that really remind me of my childhood are so nostalgic i mean this reminds me of my adulthood as well but shows like powerpuff girls that i grew up on like crazy spongebob if, if if anyone did angry beavers freaking impossible totally spies like those are things that spark a lot of joy in my life and i want to get every single one of those so not a fave, but definitely sparks joy. The whole PR box, everything. I will never ever get rid of it. SpongeBob. Yes, ma'am. The next category is my newest palette, but I actually got two new palettes at the same time. Very recently at TJ Maxx. The BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop palettes. I have bubblegum and pistachio. I try to get all of them all of the swatches in one, but I couldn't. They're just so stunning and BH Cosmetics filed for bankruptcy, which is really, really sad. Um, I'm pretty sure you can only really find these like in secondary markets or TJ Maxx. These were eight dollars at TJ Maxx. This is the bubble gum. I do already have cotton candy and sugar cone. Sugar cone's like absolute favorite. Mutual lovers dream. Um look how absolutely stunning another great companion for Lorley. The two of these. Uh, look at the the mattes are just so pigmented and buttery, blendable. So good. If you want a look on this, let me know. And my favorite of the two, pistachio. I don't know. Just something about greens really speak to me somehow. Maybe it's because I'm an earth sign. All right, second to last category, my first palette that I used in 2022 is the Melt Mary Jane palette. My mother got this for me for Christmas. It was on my wish list and I'm wearing this in the what I got for Christmas haul video. Here's the swatches. Very grungy, smoky. This is my favorite color. You know, the bronze, of course. This was the first palette I used in 2022, one of my newest palettes, and I'm really happy to have this and play with this some more. But my shadows like are crumbling already a little bit, which people complain a lot often for for melts. There it is. Okay, last category. Allie didn't mention she didn't have in her video, but. I wanted to include and this is the eyeshadow palette that I most want this year and I don't have a specific one necessarily but a brand in general and that's Odin's Eye. I watch a lot of declutter videos and a lot of those videos I watch are smaller YouTubers and they use a lot of indie brand makeup including Odin's Eye. And they freaking rave about Odin's Eye. I want to try Odin's Eye so much because they truly, truly love this brand. And I need to try it. Um, yeah, that's the end of this 
video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below your palettes for the categories I spoke about. Uh, any palettes you want me to do looks on. Comment down below your favorite palette that I spoke about. And yeah, that's it. That's the end of this video. This coffee is really kicking in. I drink a lot of coffee with a lot of sugar. So I need to drink a lot of water. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button down below. Comment, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notification. If you're feeling froggy, I post all the time. If you like me and you like this video, share it with a friend, one friend, all your friends, Instagram, Twitter. I link all my social media down below. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. And I hope to catch you in the next.